Hello, today I'm here with a new video and today I am here with a collab video and I'm so happy that this is finally happening. This is a collab with my good friend here on YouTube, Debbie, and we have talked about doing a collab for a long time, but it hasn't been like when I could, she couldn't, and we started to plan and then something happened and yeah, you know, you know what can happen sometimes, but now we are finally doing this. We have done a collab with Annette. The dreaded uh, palette bingo with the, the magic palette from Juve's Place. I can leave it up here. And when you see it, you will understand <laughs> what I didn't like about that. But today, uh, me and Debbie is doing a collab and we both love Linda Holberg. So he was like, okay, we're going to do a New Year's Eve look with only Linda Holberg products and we can choose whatever we want from Linda Holberg. And I picked out four palettes. I have all the palettes. I picked out four palettes and I think I know what I want to do. First, I was like, I'm going to do something super dramatic, over the top, so much color. But then I was like, no, I want this to be <laughs> inspiring for you that maybe it's going to a uh, New Year's Eve party or something. So maybe not that over the top, but... I know myself it's maybe not going to be that neutral. So, I think we just get started and I'm going to tell you a little bit about Debbie when I'm doing my makeup. Okay, so I'm going to start with the Infinity Deep palette and I'm going to take light here in my crease because that is a super good crease color. So I will just start with that one. And okay, Debbie. I found Debbie through Annette and uh, the first video I saw from Debbie, I think it was her Urban Decay eyeshadow collection, and that is amazing. And I started to watch her, and I really like Debbie. We talk a little bit on Instagram from time to time, and she is so kind. And her makeup skills, they are amazing. She has such a unique way to put on makeup. I am like blown away every time she does a makeup look. She is so creative and she does things in her own style and she has such a cool style and I almost dropped the palette. I think you would really like her and say hello for me. And I am so happy for Debbie. She's finally growing getting the subscribers she deserves. She should have so much more because what more does she see? She is amazing. And one thing I really like, Debbie, she is a little bit older. She's older than me. And when I started YouTube and was like, on the, did my videos in Swedish, the Swedish YouTube, most of the people that were on YouTube in Sweden was like 14 years old. And I was 25, I think. So I think it's so cool that she like shows that makeup doesn't have an age. I love that. And it's going to be so fun to see what she does. I think we have pretty similar, we have similar taste in makeup, but we do like completely different styles but also a little bit the same. So yeah, it's going to be so fun to see what she is doing and to see what she is using. I don't actually know which of the palettes you have, Debbie. I don't think you have them all, but I think you have a lot of them. So okay, and then I'm going to the Spectral palette and I am going to take this one. Occult, cult. I don't know how to say that in English. And I am taking that on my outer half of my lid. And first I was like, okay, I'm going to do a smoky eye. But then I'm like, okay, I can't do like a smoky eye for New Year's look. It's going to be pretty smoky, but not like with the black. And this. It, I really like it. I know that some people doesn't do that, but I do. And yes, this is purple. 
So, who am I? And one thing I really love about Linda Holberg, they do amazing transition shades and <laughs> I know that maybe not my channel is the transition shade channel. But like for doing a smoky eye, you have to have a good transition shade for that and I think that they do. They do my favorite like everyday makeup or my favorite base shadows. And they also do like this. I was so happy when this Spectre palette came. I haven't used it that much so... I'm so happy with this collab that we decided to do a makeup look with only Linda Holberg. Because I really really love her products. I think you know that. It's absolutely one of my favorite brands when it comes to makeup. But like I don't know what to do so... It's so fun. And I know that Debbie loves Linda Holberg as much as I do. And it also feels so strange to say Linda Holberg. It's pronounced Linda Hallberg in Swedish. So I'm going to cut my crease with some glitter glue from NYX. And I'm going to take Metallic Mistress. And I'm going to take... I'm going to take collision, this one, and put it, and I really hope that this is going to look good. <laughs> I really hope. Okay, I am going to put this clear glue in here. And this brush isn't good for cutting my grease because it's so freaking big. Maybe it's not big, but it's like so rounded. Like something a little bit more pointy, but yeah. what's done is done, and I'm dragging it a little bit over to purple, and then I'm going in with collision. I really hope. Yeah, I usually don't use these small palettes from Lynn Alberg. I actually don't know why. I really really love this shade collision. It is so cool. Okay, and because this is a New Year's look, I want to do something with the purple as well. So I'm going into Enchanted Secrets and take this Orphic, Orphic, Orphic. And I think actually I'm going to use my eye for this because I don't know. I don't like to use my I did I say I'm going to use my eye? I'm going to use my finger because or maybe I can use a brush. I will try with the brush at first and put it of course over the purple and I don't think that this is sticking as I wanted to. Okay, I think I will try with my finger. And this is not my favorite way to apply mm, shadows, but I don't want to have like glitter glue on my whole eye because I want this. And this is why I don't like to use my finger. I want the purple underneath to shine through so I just want like the shimmer reflecting blue specks from this on the eye and can I blend this? I think I will put a little bit of this. Can you see what I'm doing over the gold as well, but not too much, but just to a bad, a bad, a good transition. I really love this. I don't know how much of this you can see, but I really love the blue. First of all, like I don't know if gold and blue is going to go go, go together, but I was like, fetch this. Okay, I am going over with my, with the shade I had in my crease, light year from the Infinity Deep, and just take a little on my brush, tap it off, and then go over here. But 
not too much because I think I'm going to take away like the shimmer from like the blue specks. So okay, I actually think that I am happy with a lid like this. I am going to oh I love this gold. I am going to <laughs> take away my fallouts. Fix my base and my brows and then I come back and we do something to the under eyes. And I'm actually going to use Linda Hallberg as blush and highlighter as well. I usually do that but now I'm going to use two colors that I usually don't <laughs> use for that. So I will fix my base and then I come back and we do the under eyes together. Okay, so I am back for my blush, rouge blush. I used Dim from Spectral. And for my highlight, I used Bang from the Metallic Mysteries, and I really love them. And as a setting spray, I used the Glow Mist H2 <laughs> Glow Mist from Lynn Hogberg, of course. So for my under eyes, I will keep it pretty simple. So I will take this one on my lower lash, but not the whole way, because I want to do a little pop of... <laughs> pop of something um, in my inner corner of my lower lash. So I will just take this purple the whole way. And this eye is better if <laughs> you don't know what I'm talking about. I have had like a dry patch on this eye, but now it's finally better and already a little bit. I have taken like a super thick cream like four times a day and it's finally getting better, but now it's like the eyeshadow is sticking to that super thick cream, so don't mind this, mind look at this eye instead. Okay, and for my inner corner, I'm <laughs> going in with Abstract, this one, and I will try to only put this. I don't know if it's possible, because this is more like a topper shade, but I will spray it as well. Okay, so now I really hope that this is working. Can you see me? Even if you can't, you... It has to be like that. This is working. So, uh, something like this and this abstract. I think this is my favorite shade in the Spectra palette. If you maybe want a little bit more toned down, you can skip this inner corner. But I will try to pick a pen to have in my waterline. But the same there, I have all the pens from Lynn Hartbrook. But I actually think I want to go in with going in with this one. I think this is from the new flash kit. This is Altair flash. So I'm just going to put this and this is a orange shimmer. So I think that is all for the eyes. I'll put on mascara and try to choose a lipstick and yes I have almost all the lipsticks from Linda Hallberg as well. I think I will go with something a little bit more neutral because if I'm thinking that this is going to be a new year's look I guess you're going to eat and drink something and then I, when I'm going away to a party and I know that I'm going to eat food, I don't want to have such a bold lip because it's going to fade and I don't want to think about my makeup when I'm at a party. So yeah, I'll put on mascara and something on my lips and then I will be back. So this is the finished look. For my lips I took Famous. This is one of my absolute favorite lipsticks from Linda Hallberg. It's my lips but grungier. I don't know to, how to explain it, but I really love it. And this is my finished New Year's Eve look with only Linda Hallberg products. And I really like this look. I could totally go like this for New Year's, even though I'm just going to sit home <laughs> for New Year's because I'm going up to work the day after. But yeah, I really like this and I love the blue inner corner. I love that shade so much. But if you maybe want to tone it down, you can only 
maybe take the gold down or take the purple all the way. So yeah, this is my finished look in this collab with Debbie and thank you so much Debbie for collabing with me. I am so happy that we finally did this and it's going to be so fun to see what Debbie is doing. I think she's going to do something amazing or I know she's going to do something amazing. So thank you so much Debbie and don't forget to check Debbie out and say hello from me. I will of course... She has been up here in the beginning, she is down in the description and also her video. So yeah, I really hope you liked this video and if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I hope I will see you in the next one. Bye!